So this problem will take up this much space, okay? So before I get into this problem, I want you to kind of look. See, there's an X, there's a Y, there's a Z. That means their final answer will be X, comma, Y, comma, Z. So let's remember things that we used to do. So remember when you used to do this problem way back in the day in ninth grade or in your freshman year, okay? Hold on, let me pause it. So you would solve this one by elimination. So let's say I decided to get rid of the X. That means I would give this one a 3 and this one a 2 because 3 times 2 is 6. But one of them has to be negative so it could cancel. And then I would multiply, 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 multiply. And I would eliminate the X. Um, I think I did something wrong. Let me see. Mm, whatever. So that I could solve for y. Dot, 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 y equals, let's just say it's negative 3. Then you take negative 3 and plug it back in. Some of you also said, why did you do that? Why didn't you just do this? Some of you noticed, hey, I don't want to eliminate the x. It'd just be much easier to eliminate the y if I multiplied that by 2. Because then that would be 4x minus 2y equals 18, and I eliminated the x. It doesn't matter which one you eliminate. Yes, there are easier ways to go. And then eventually your answer would be, let's say, 7, negative 3. There's an x and a y. So how is this different? This is different today because not only do you have an x and a y, but you have a z, okay? So what was easier about this one is once you eliminated one letter, you still only had one left and you were good to go. If I eliminated all the Z's, I would still have X's and Y's, and that wouldn't work out, okay? So this is the method that I do this problem. If you have a better way and you show me this better way, then you're good to go, okay? So I'm going to call this A, B, and C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take A and B, or B and C, or A and C, and solve that system and eliminate one of the variables. When I look through the list, I want to try to find something that I think would be easy to easier to eliminate. So when I look here, if that was a negative 8, then that would eliminate the x. If that was a negative 4, that would eliminate the x. If I look here, that would be a 2, eliminate the y. If this was a negative 3, I could eliminate the y. So it doesn't really matter how you decide to do this. Um, actually, I'm going to call this e1, e2, e3. For equation one, equation two, equation three. Okay, so I'm going to decide to rewrite a one and e e one and e two. So what I'm going to choose to do is I'm going to eliminate the x. So I'm going to multiply this equation by negative eight. So I'm going to get negative eight x plus sixteen y plus eight z equals negative sixteen. So that's my e two, and I'm going to add it to my e one. Now, the thing about this one is it's not that it's so difficult, it's that it's very easy to make mistakes. And when, to, when you make one mistake, you actually don't know until the very, very end, okay? Oh, and by the way, you cannot check this on Desmos because um, there's an X, a Y, and a Z, and that's a three-dimensional plane, and Desmos is only two-dimensional, okay? So you're going to eventually learn about X, Y, and a three-dimensional plane, um, so yeah. Anyways, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to eliminate 19y plus 2z equals negative 12. I'm going to call that my equation A, okay? So from E1 and E2, I got my A, and that's what I have here. I used E1 and E2 to get A. Now I'm going to do E2 and E3. How come? Because I feel like it. I just can't use E1 and E2 again because I'll get the same thing. So if I'm going to do E2 and E3, so I'll write that, E2 and E3, if I eliminated the X here, I have to eliminate the X here. So I'm going to multiply this by negative 4. So that would be negative 4X plus 8Y plus 4Z equals negative 8. And that's my E2, and then let me rewrite my E1. Again, let me say, it is very easy to make silly mistakes. Now I get 9y plus 2z 
equals negative 12. I'll call that B. So I just used E2 and E3 to create a new one. So I went from a 3 by 3 to now a 2 by 2. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake since I'm doing this in pen now. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is now this problem looks like these here. Where I can eliminate Y, I can eliminate Z, I can eliminate whatever I want. I'll multiply that by negative 1. And then I'm left with negative 19Y or minus 2Z equals 12. I add those two. I get negative 10Y equals 0. So Y equals 0. Okay, sorry you can't see that. So I got my Y. Now don't go back to the original because if you plug in Y here, you still have X and Z. So you're going to go back one step. So it's kind of like you progress down and then you're going to progress back. So I'm going to take this y equals 0, and I'm going to plug it into my green plot. Okay? And I'm going to go 9 times 0 plus 2z equals negative 12. 0 plus 2z equals negative 12. z equals negative 6. All right. Now that I have my z and I have my y, now I'm going to go back to the original, original, original and pick one of the equations to plug it in for. It doesn't matter which one you want to pick. I'm actually going to pick this one because the numbers are small. So I'm going to put 0 in for y, and I'm going to put negative 6 in for z. Okay. So I'm, I picked equation 2, and I'm going to go x minus 2 times 0 minus negative 6 equals 2. x minus 0 plus 6 equals 2 x equals negative 4. All right, now I've got my x, I got my y, I got my z. Now I have my answer. Now I want to tell you if I had a lot of time, which I don't want to do it, I didn't have to pick in the beginning equation 1 and equation 2. I could have picked e1, e3. So I could have gone e1, e3 and then created my a. And then I could have gone e1, E2 and created my B. And if I was doing E1 and E3, maybe I would have decided to eliminate the Y. So if I eliminate the Y, I'd be left with X and Z. That would create my A. And then I'd be left with X and Z. That would create my B. Then I would solve for X, solve for Z, take that and go back to the original. Okay? So that's kind of what we're going to do here. All right? So let's start with number one. Now, I'm going to, some of these will be homework problems. So what we don't finish now, um, you'll, you can either do the problems on a separate piece of paper or you can try to fit it all in here. Okay? So I'm going to call this E1, E2, E3. You don't even have to label it, but for my organization and sanity purposes and how messy I am, it's easier for me to do that. Okay, so I am actually going to get rid of X because look at that. If I go E1 plus E2, I can automatically eliminate and I'd be left with negative 5Y add add minus 7Z add add equals 28. So now I've got my A. Okay. So now I can pick whatever I want. I could pick E1 and E3, or I could pick E2 and E3. The only issue is I have to make sure that I eliminate X because that's what I did here. So I am going to pick E1 and E3. And the reason I'm picking E1 and E3 to give me my B is because if you look, that one's already negative. So then I can just rewrite negative 4X minus 2Y minus 4z equals 4. And all I have to do is multiply this one by 2, and then I'm left with 4x plus 10y plus 4z equals negative 4. And then when I add those, I get 8y. Interesting, look what happened. My z went away. Equals 0. Let me just make sure, hopefully that's right. Yep. I don't know why that ended up working out. And this one I got lucky, because I actually already got my y. So I didn't even need to create a B because my X and my Z got eliminated. 
So now I can take this and plug it right back in there. And I can go negative 5 times 0 minus 7z equals 28. Negative 7z equals 28. z equals negative 4. All right. Now that I have my y and my z, now I can go back to my originals. And I'm going to pick this one because it's got a lot of positives. So I'm going to plug in 0 there. And I'm going to plug negative 4 in there. So I'm going to go 2x plus 5 times 0 plus 2 times negative 4 equals negative 2. 2x minus 8 equals negative 2. 2x equals 6. x equals 3. Now that I got my x, my y, my z, my final answer is 3. 0, negative 4. Okay? Let me pick... Another one. Let me just make sure. Okay. I'm going to pick number four now. I think we have time for it. Yep. Okay. So I am going to choose to eliminate C because if I go E1, E2, E3, and I go E1 plus E2, I automatically get rid of those and I'll create my A that way. Then it would be negative 7A plus 2B equals 22. So now if I got rid of, oh, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to do E1 plus E3, and that'll give me my B. Because look at if I go E1 plus E3, it gets eliminated also. So negative 5A minus 7B equals 55. Now I've created my new A and my new B, and I'm going to solve this system, okay? So I'll rewrite it right here, negative 7a, 22. Okay, that's pretty, I know. So I'm going to multiply this one, I'm going to get rid of b, I'm going to multiply this by 7, and this by 2, negative 49a plus 14b equals 4, 154. Negative 10a plus 4, whoa, 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 minus 14b equals 110. I'm going to add them together. I'm running out of space. Negative 59a equals 264. I'm scared. Let me get my calculator out. I feel like I went too fast. Yep, okay, I'm going to pause it and find my mistake. So when I divided, <laughs> because I'm human, I said 25 minus 7 was 22, something you guys probably caught. So let's make that 18, which means this should be 18, which means this should be, let's see, oops, 6, 126, which this means this should be 336. I'm scared. Uh, 236. Let's see if it works this time. Oh, it worked. Yay. So now I get A equals negative 4. So I got my A. Plug it in. Solve. It's interesting. Some of you are probably like, how is she so messy? And she found her mistake. Because I understand my messiness. Okay, and as long as you understand your own messiness, you're great. You could be the neatest person in the world and not even understand what you did. Okay, I got A. I got B. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to plug it in to, I don't know, there's no good one. Plug in A to this one, B to this one. So negative 2 times negative 4 minus negative 5 plus 3C equals 25. Sorry, I'm trying to finish all of this in the... 15 minute allotted time, 13 plus 3C equals 25, 3C equals 12, C equals 4. Knowing that in the alphabet, first comes A, then comes B, then comes C, there's my answer. Okay, I got 30 seconds to tell you what your homework is. Your homework is going to be to do number 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 problems. And these ones right here. Okay, so you've got 10, a total of 10 problems, and all the answers are at the bottom.